Welcome to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg, and I'm going to continue my J.G. Ballard series with his 27th story in my Ballard bibliography. I'm really moving along here. This was published in, if I can hit the right one. Come on, go back. Big fingers tonight, I guess. Okay, third, th the the story is 13 to Centaurus, and it was published in the April 1962 issue of Amazing Stories, which I do have a copy of here. This is it. Kind of a neat cover with this scarecrow astronaut on it. Um, cover has absolutely nothing to do with the Ballard story. It, it illustrates the lead story of the issue titled Hang Head Vandal by Mark Clifton. And got some other good stuff in here. Flashback by Edward Wellen. Requiem by Edmund Hamilton. Um, Spawn of the Ray is a classic reprint by Maurice Duclos. And Second Chance by Robert Hoskins, as well as a profile by Sam Moskowitz of Isaac Asimov. The cover, by the way, is the cover artist is Lloyd Birmingham. And 13 to Centaurus has a very nice Virgil Finlay illustration. 13 to Centaurus is a novelette length work. <clears throat> and in it, you start out, you're on a generation ship, spaceship, on a voyage to Alpha Centaurus. And there are other people on board. And of course, the deal with a generation spaceship is that the first generation of people on board the ship will die before they reach their destination because it's, it's moving at speeds that we are capable of propelling a spaceship today, which means it's going to take... A number of lifetimes for the ship to just get to our nearest star that's the realities of outer space first generation has died i think a second generation is in place at the beginning of this story but here's the twist to 13 to centaurus there is a psychiatrist on board he's the only person who knows that it's a generation starship that has a destination where they'll be getting off. Everybody else is conditioned to think that this is their home. They're going to spend their entire life here. And not, they're conditioned to completely forget about Earth and f completely forget about planets. Planets are a myth. They don't exist. Only the ship exists. The psychiatrist is the only person who knows the reality, except he has to tell this one person who will be basically the pilot. He needs to know because he needs to handle systems on the ship that will keep them on course towards Alpha Centauri. So this young man is in the psychiatrist's office and the psychiatrist tells him, look, we're on a generation starship. You're not going to live to get there, but, our, but ultimately our destination is to get to Alpha Centaurus and land on a planet. Okay, so this is the story. There's some more twists to it. It's kind of an interesting story. It also reminds me I'm trying to remember what show it was. Outer Limits or Twilight Zone, one of them had a story almost exactly like this. And it's a good story. It really is a good story. Um, it's the clo I, I'd say it's really the closest thing Ballard wrote to a traditional science fiction story. But even though it's different from his usual kind of surrealism and his usual brilliance and his usual powerful imagery for something that's more like what Robert Silverberg might have published. Um, even so, it's a very good story. 
not going to give this one a top tail. I don't think it's quite that good, but it, if this is Ballard. It's still very good. It still is something I have to recommend to you. If you like the science fiction, if you like Generation Starship stories, it's a very thoughtful story, well-written, well-characterized for just a novelette. Um, and really gets into multiple worldviews and shifting worldviews in the story and, and how that affects the people on the on the ship, which is called the station. Very thoughtful story. Really good. So once again, Ballard, even when he steps down and, and writes something that's just an ordinary science fiction story, he still makes it as good as the very best science fiction being published and better than most science fiction being published. Um, can't really say much more than that. I really, I did enjoy it. I don't consider it a top tale. Um, of course, you can find the story in Amazing Stories. It's also in other collections of his. The only other collection I have it in is the complete short stories of J.G. Ballard, which you've seen me show and talk about at length in many other videos. So um, either of those sources would be a, a good place to look for the story. And it is a good story to look up and read. I do recommend it. So have you ever read 13 to Centaurus? What do you think? Leave your thoughts about the story, Ballard, um, amazing stories under Seeley Goldsmith in the comment section of the video on YouTube and uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Come on back for a lot more. Um, even though I've done 27 stories by Ballard now, there's a lot more to come. And the next one will be Passport to Eternity. I hope you'll join me for that and all the other Ballard and all the other stories that I talk about on Telltale Books.